What is happening in the world of beauty pageants? This is your boy Mark Gamboa for another episode of Beauty Queens of Manila pageant news. So another day, another developing story about the ongoing saga between Binibining Pilipinas and the group of Governor Chavit Singson for the coveted Miss Universe Philippines franchise. So what is new today? So there's a new article from Philippine Star. Uh, Uh, conducted by my good friend Wilson Lee Flores. Uh, he interviewed Governor Chavit Singson and he addressed the rumors and stories about the ongoing fight for the Miss Universe franchise. So first he was asked, uh, there have been rumors that you're neg negotiating with the Miss Universe organization to acquire the Philippine franchise. Uh, but uh, Ms. Stella Araneta just told media on January 3 that the franchise was still with them. What's the real score? And to that, uh, Chavit answered, uh, true, the franchise is already with me, but it has not yet been announced. So he said, the franchise is still with the uh, Chavit Singson Group. I think it shall be formally announced this January or February when Catriona comes back again to the Philippines. So we have to wait until February pagbalik ni Catriona to get any announcement regarding this matter. Binibining Pilipinas Universe will be replaced with Miss Universe Philippines. Noon pa binibigay sa akin yan uh, because I've been helping them since 2016. So that's the official word from Chavit Singson. So uh, he was then asked, How did you get it when the franchise has been with the Aranetas for 55 years? Uh, Chavit answered, uh, I dealt with them for the hosting of the Miss Universe pageant here in the Philippines in 2016. Instead of talking to many companies before, they just talked to me and then I gave them a non-refundable deposit of $1 million. dollars. Who would disagree to that non-refundable? I gained their trust. Before the signing in 2016, they even first asked me to pay $12 million. dollars. So that's his, that's his uh, statement. So he was then asked, are you trying to copy Donald Trump who once owned Miss Universe? And Chavit answered, no, we're different. My girlfriends are more beautiful. Okay. Uh, is it true that you're helping to stage Miss Universe this year? Where in South Korea will it be? And can you share some details? Uh, yes, it's in South Korea, but I'm not yet sure exactly where. Before, it was held in Jeju Island because it doesn't require visas for foreign tourists. The 2019 Miss Universe will be unique because for the first time in history, North Korea will participate, but no swimsuit portion for the candidate, only the national costume. So, yun yung uh, statement niya. The next Miss Universe will be in uh, South Korea and North Korea, Korea will be participating. So, medyo alam naman yun ng tao that uh, Singson's group will handle that. But yun, uh, medyo gumulo yung situation because the last we heard from the press con of Daranetas, they still have it. Ngayon, Chavit is claiming that he still has it. So I guess the final word will be with, with the Miss Universe organization. So, what do you guys think? Uh, anong tingin nyo with the whole situation? So, I'm holding judgment muna because I'm waiting to see because uh, I'm friends with both sides. So, tingnan natin. Uh, ultimately naman, it's the Miss Universe organization who will choose kung sino yung franchise nila here in the Philippines. And Philippines is really a hot area because uh, Philippines is now developing to be a really, really... Uh, Number one, really, really the number one spot when it comes to developing uh, beauty pageant contestants. So, medyo malaking balita, medyo malaking uh, baluarte for the Miss Universe organization ng Philippines. So, it's very critical for them to choose very wisely kung sino yung magiging partner nila here dito sa Philippines. Because like I said, the uh, Philippines is uh, on the top, if not number one sa beauty pageant sa buong mundo. It's something we should be proud of. It's something we are really good at. So, it is going to be an exciting uh, January and February for uh, pageant fans out there. Uh, speaking of pageants, uh, what's happening right now is the ongoing Miss Intercontinental uh, with our very own Karen Galman representing the country. She's very amazing and I'm really excited for her. She has a really good chance of winning. Uh, join me this week. We will have a lot of events for Miss Intercontinental. We will be there. We will go to the events And we're excited to see everyone participating and we are all rooting for Karen Galman to win. Uh, it's going to be a great start for the year if uh, another Filipina 
could win uh, this beauty pageant. Of course, we know uh, Francesca Taruk just the other day also won uh, her tournament. Uh, also won her tournament, also won her pageant. So that's very great news for Filipino pageant fans worldwide. So guys, thank you for joining me. Please comment below what you guys think. Uh, no hateful comments. We are all just having a nice, uh, nice uh, conversation here. So I would like to hear from you. Watch out for more content from Beauty Queens of Manila, from Models of Manila TV. This is your boy, Mark Gamboa. Thank you, everyone. Uh, see you on my next video.